What's going on guys? Today we're back at it with another Miata video. Um, today we're actually going to be doing the gauge cluster LEDs and we're going to be replacing the license plate uh, LEDs also. But first we're going to do the easy part is the gauge cluster. Um, so what you want to do is there's two screws, one right here and one right here and then you also have to take for the little center console piece off those are three screws so let me get those done and I'll get back with you alright now that we got that off um, what you want to do is just pry this back just a little bit and then there will be a screw here a screw here and two screws on the bottom. So let me get that done and uh, I'll show you the next step. But first, this is a little before. You really can't tell. Let me. This is a little before and then once the new ones are in, I'll show you the after. All right, so now that we got the four screws out, what you wanna do, just wanna pry it. And there should be a couple of connectors in the back. And then we'll get this out. So let me get this out and I will show you where the LEDs go. Alright, as you can see, we need to disconnect that and that. So let's get that disconnected and put these new LEDs in. And I also forgot to mention that you're going to need to take the cable off for the speedo. So the bulbs that we're going to replace, this one, this one, and I want to say these two, alright? So all you got to do is just give it a twist and it comes out just like this. It's got a little green nipple on it already and uh, I'll show you the LEDs in a sec. Alright, so now that we got everything all hooked back up. What you want to do is you just want to start plugging everything back up and then also the speedo cable and then uh, once that's all plugged in make sure they work and uh, I'll show you hopefully they work. Alright so now we got everything back plugged in we got the two connectors that was one was up here and one was up here and then obviously the speedo cable so let's see if it works. And as you can tell, uh, the camera really doesn't give the justice that uh, these things are actually really bright green, but they'll definitely do. Um, I like them, so uh, let's uh, go on to the license plate lights after we bun all this up.
so now we have everything back together we had the surroundings on all the screws put in so let's grab the keys turn this off and then go back to the trunk all right so with the trunk let's take this up. All right, with the trunk, now you really can't tell. Let me get a light. All right, so now that I got a light, it just looks like there's a bunch of push pins you wanna take out. So once I get that done, I'll get back with you. So you're just going to want to twist them out and then replace them. Alright, now they're just twist out and as you can tell these are the old ones and these are the new ones I got from a uh, super bright LD. So they just twist back in. So, let's see if they work. Let's turn the lights on. Turn this light off. All right, so as you can tell, they definitely work. And they're much brighter than OEM. So basically, just gonna, just gonna install everything again, put it all back to OEM spec. And uh, hopefully you guys like this uh, little LED uh, adventure. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. Hope it was helpful. Um, leave me some feedback. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll also put a link in uh, the description below to the LEDs. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.